There are three levels on how we can waste our life. First one is when we go with the flow. Graduated from school, got in the uni, got the job, and then build a routine that seems that every day is exactly the same thing. There is actually nothing wrong with this bus if you're satisfied with your job and with your personal life. It becomes a problem when we see that we are miserable this way and don't do anything to improve it because everyone lives like that and it seems to be the normal life. Second type of wasting life happens when we see that in the first scenario it isn't working for us and we try to change it. Here is the recipe how to waste another year or years while seemingly doing self-improvement. Let's look at all of the ingredients and then how to mix them to get it all wrong. First, read tons of books and do nothing about it. Second, get another course and do not complete it. Third, start to acquire a new skill without any idea what's for and why. Fourth, meditate, journal, visualize and create 80 steps routine just to get started to do the actual work. Five, don't eat healthy because that's the last enjoyable things that left in life. Six, rely on motivation to get started and to be productive. Seven, spend weeks and months stressing over what's your path. Eight, start doing something and stop in two weeks because it's not working and it's not your passion. Nine, don't follow your own promises. Now let's dive deeper in what is wrong with each ingredient. First, reading. It seems to be good, but the truth lies in the numbers that follow. We retain 5% of the information that is lecture to us, and we retain 10% of the information that we are reading. But we retain 75% of what we are practiced by doing. So yes, reading is important for general development. Becoming smarter, you can say. But it has nothing to do with actual improvement of your life. Don't focus on quantity of reading, focus on quality. And then taking those information and instructions and implementing them in your life. If you read any self-development book, any book on investment, personal finance, and didn't implement anything from it, you wasted your time. The problem here is we feel good when we consume such content. It feels like we're doing the right thing to become better. But in reality, it's far from the truth. Without action, without practice, it's all meaningless. Similar situation with courses. Don't take them and definitely don't buy them if they aren't aimed at developing some practical skill. If it's just plain theory that you can Google. Yes, theory is good, but if you don't practically do anything about it, you'll forget it super fast. So if you're choosing what to learn, focus on practical courses first. Or learning theory or spending time on courses can be a way to procrastinate from taking actual steps and doing the work. And those procrastinations is like saving us from the pain of stepping out of the comfort zone. But the real growth is out there, no one else will do it for us. Then we flow into the third, doing or learning something without any idea why and what for. If you don't have practical need for the skill or you don't plan to use it like later, ever, you spend more time learning it and then forget it way faster than you acquired it. Yes, if you have zero idea what to do and what to learn, anything is better than nothing. But it's way better to start somewhere where you can see immediate results and immediate implementation. Journal, meditation and other 80 steps of routine. Once again, it's a way to cover up the procrastination from doing the actual work. Yes, you can do all of it, but if your routine two or three hours for you to get started to do the job, there is something wrong with your priorities. It does look good in aesthetic videos or photos, but is it really working? Does it really give you results? Don't it healthy because that's the last enjoyable thing in life. Health should be the first priority in anything you are doing or trying to do to improve your life. When you are in pain or when you have zero energy, everything else doesn't matter. So work on your well-being first. Rely on motivation to get started and be productive and spend weeks, months or years stressing over what's your passion. I've talked about it more in videos of development detox, but it needs to be said here as well. You won't get motivation every time you need it, it shows up one time per year or one time per month, and it's not enough for making the progress. Discipline and consistency is what should be discussed and considered more in here. About passion, you'll find it faster if you try different things, if you try to acquire new skills, to combine them, then just thinking about what it can be. If you need a better idea how to discover your real passion and how so so many super famous artists or inventors saying he's did it i highly recommend reading the book mastery by robert green it filled with examples how those great people discovered their true life calling start doing something and quit in two weeks with everything you do with everything you start there will be like emotional ups and downs it will be seems like oh my god everything great then the other day you will be bored or sad because nothing seems to work at some point you need to realize that it is just the process for learning anything and to see some noticeable changes you have to wait for months and years sometimes I have personal motto in here, don't tell it's not working unless you try it at least for six months. The last part in here, don't follow up your own promises. 
If you say to yourself you will do it and then you end up not doing it, it's the worst mental space you can put yourself in. We all know the feeling. It might seem like not a big deal because nobody saw you failing and nobody saw you breaking your own promise. But it's not true. At least one person saw it and it was you. It's destroying your belief that you actually can hold on to your own promises, that you actually can do what you promised you will do. Capable to stay true to your words. This is a side effect not only for your self-confidence, but also how trustworthy it seems to others. If you don't believe your own words, others won't believe you either. The best presentation sales speeches is done when the person truly believes in what he is saying and in what he is selling. Mostly people can sense if the person is saying the truth. Now what do you do with all this information? Stop reading books? Stop researching what is your passion? No, that's not the answer. The solution is, in everything you do you should focus on action, on practice, on those 20% of things that gives you 80% of the results. So now sit down and create a list of everything you want to change in your life and everything you want to learn and choose one that will have the biggest positive impact. And sometimes it's not about developing the skills like Python, for example. It might be something like developing the ability to focus deeply, to concentrate and to learn faster. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and here will be the spoiler for the next video. It will be the guideline how to make it right this time. Stay healthy and happy till the next time.